A recent poll found that 90, 90% of people do not plan to buy a heat pump in the next five years. That was just one of Boris Johnson's problems. Joining me now to discuss this is Head of Policy at Net Zero Watch, Harry Wilkinson. Uh, first question, Harry, quite a basic one. Do you think the public will be willing to pay to go green? Well, I don't think uh, people struggling with the rising costs of living today uh, will want to pay green uh, to go green in the current uh, climate. On top of the recent express polling, we actually commissioned some of our own polling, which suggested that 58% of people weren't willing to pay higher taxes uh, to go green. Um, but they shouldn't have to. This is my key message. They shouldn't have to pay uh, to go green. The reason why environmental policies uh, are costing people so much is because they're being badly designed. Uh, we're being forced to go on to renewables that are unreliable. Uh, when the wind isn't blowing, we have to ramp up that gas. Uh, and that's really made the winter energy price crisis this year uh, so much worse. We need reliable, secure technologies. Uh, that's probably primarily for the time being at nuclear and gas. Um, and if we have free market energy policies um, and a framework that can deliver low costs, then we can actually reduce our emissions and reduce costs for consumers. Uh, so it's, it's disappointing to see all these government-led policies, which are all focusing on state-led intervention that rise costs for consumers. Um, and now we're approaching, in April, uh, the energy price cap is going to rise, potentially by up to £500, possibly even more than that. Um, and it's totally unnecessary, and it's the result of bad government policies. It's also the result of bad economics, because you can't buck markets, you can't do anything about the price of oil, you can't do much about whether the wind blows, That's you've already made that point. I mean, it seems to me that the government is banking upon an economic energy to this policy that simply isn't there. Unless the heat pumps are virtually give away, uh, 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 and unless suddenly everybody around the world cuts the price of oil and cuts the price of gas, which means Saudi Arabia and Putin, it ain't going to happen. That's right. We have yeah. to work within the framework of markets. Um, but so what let we me, can no, do... We, that... we, I just want to, we've established that. So the planet burns. We cannot stop global warming if we cannot address those issues. And at the moment, we do not have the armoury to do it. Well, you're right that we need fossil fuels to continue. I don't think that means the planet burns, because I think when you look at what kind of trajectory the world is on in terms of global emissions now, it's not in the worst case scenarios. We hear a lot about worst case climate change scenarios, but those assume that we'll see a massive increase in coal use uh, going forward through the next century. Um, and those uh, stop and German. No, Harry, Harry, like hang it. on. China are not going to stop. Germany say they will wean themselves off dirty coal eventually. We're living in cloud cuckoo land. Well, that's completely right. China is going to keep raising its emissions. But I would just encourage people to welcome the economic development that we're seeing that is raising billions of people out of poverty. We're seeing deaths from extreme weather actually decline. So even though um, various uh, weather conditions have changed, and in some cases they're actually becoming less frequent, in some cases they're becoming more frequent, but the impact they have is reducing, and that's because we're becoming uh, more developed, better able to respond to natural disasters. And that means we can look forward with confidence to the future and not be overly alarmed about the risk of climate change. In one word, learn to live with it. I think that's going to have to be the case, but we're going to thrive. It's not a, <laughs> a, a bad situation. That's 12 words, but they were very good and important. Harry Wilkinson, genuinely a pleasure to talk to you always. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You.